<laughs> Life is good, but it can be better in a 30-year-old t-shirt. No, this is not Golden Boy. This, this is a shirt from the bicycle ride across Georgia from 1991. Oh my goodness, this things. I don't know. I don't know what's on the back. I forgot to look at it, but this shirt, yeah, I've had it for 30 years. And I'm not going to throw it away, even though it probably needs to be thrown away. So I've been looking through my comments. I get a lot of comments from Robin Hull. <laughs> if y'all don't know Robin Hull, check out them on Instagram and on YouTube. Did I say who I was? Oh, God, I can't remember. But Robin is a collector of Fabuland. They love Fabuland history, Fabuland figures. They worked and they got a huge Fabuland army. Uh, like people said, if I have the Tipper Trick army, Robin Hull has the Fabuland army. I think they are the most, they're the most prolific collector of Fabuland on YouTube that I know. There's nobody else on YouTube that collects more Fabuland than Robin Hull. And I got a package in the mail today from one Robin Hull. So I'm interested to see what this is. Um, as you know, I too love Fabuland. I wish I had a Fabuland mint green uh, shirt. That would be really awesome. I got a I wonder if, they, if there's any shirts that have that color of the Fabuland boxes. I, it's one of my favorite colors that Lego used for boxes for those sets. And uh, very, very striking. Or, I don't know, maybe people don't like it. It doesn't matter. And I, I learned something today because I got this package from Robin. And I went on Fabuland and looking at the Fabuland sets. And I was like, I thought I had the school room. I do have the school room, but it's classroom. It's called classroom. There's two of them. One's a classroom, one's a school. But they're the same characters. It's just what the school is a little bigger than the classroom. <laughs> and they have different a little two by two tiles there. So I, I realized I thought I had it. I almost marked it off of my list. And I was like, oh no, I still don't have the, the bigger one. So Fabuland's a little tricky to collect because there are duplicate sets. Um, you know, they have the one release with one set number in the same set released with a different number, but they also have sets that are very similar, but are different, <laughs> which is very confusing. Uh, so Fabuland is a little tricky to collect. Uh, there's a, a roughly a hundred plus sets. I think there's like 105, but then it gets really complicated because there's the minifigure blind bag thingies, and so it's hard to really know if you have all of the Fabuland sets. But if anybody's working towards that, it's Robin. So that's enough about that. I'm going to thank Robin for putting out good content there. But now we're going to see what we got in this package here. The address is all over this. and I don't feel like marking it all out. Try to open this very carefully. Uh-oh. Whoops. Trying to do it. It's a bag within a bag. We have a note in here. So let's look at this. Oh, we got a note from London, England. Dear Jabbo, we hope this brief note finds you and your family keeping well in these very difficult times. The enclosed finally arrived with us after severe delays caused by a number of different problems, including COVID, Brexit, and somebody letting the air out of the postman's bicycle tires. <laughs> the story behind this keychain is interesting. According to the seller, his late grandfather was a rep for Lego in Africa during the latter part of the last century. We are guessing late 1970s through the late 1980s. He claimed that he has a pile of interesting Lego rarities that need sorting out as they are currently languishing in his attic. We need to get those out of the attic. He says, we had originally purchased a mint Fabuland Patrick Parrot keychain from him on eBay. He had five for sale, all looking like they all just left the factory. The seller then contacted us to say he had a few other Fabuland items for sale, as well as some other keychains, including the one enclosed. The promised photos of the Fabuland items never materialized, but he did send, after some prompting, photos of the keychains. We bought two other Fabuland keychains for him. Both are sealed and from 1984. 
The other keychain we bought because we know you like Homemaker. We want to thank you for keeping us entertained and for giving us a giggle or three. We are ardent fans of your Brickstar channel and watch every upload, even if we don't always comment. Stay safe. Best wishes. Robin and Mrs. H. Signed. All right. This is exciting. It's, it's neat when you're a collector like that and you find somebody that has got those obscure items. Uh, very fun to collect things like that. So let's see what's in here. <laughs> Look at this. Oh, wow. And this is a, definitely right up my alley. The Aviator. And this is a maxi figure keychain. Put that in your pocket, right? Yeah, that would feel real comfortable in your pocket. <laughs> wow. So it's got the, uh, the, the pilot or aviator hat. It's got the Lego logo right there, and I think these are glued. Yeah, these are glued. I'm not sure how they glued them back then, back in the day, but this is utterly amazing. I want to real. I want to thank Robin so much for um, what they bring to the community as far as the Fabuland uh, information. Uh, and then being invested in this, you find some of these obscure things that other people don't even know exist. Uh, something like this from the Maxi Figure line. So check them out if you want to see what other items they picked up. Uh, especially on Instagram, that's where you'll see a lot of the uh, the different images of things that are in, their, are in their collection. But they also do post uh, YouTube videos featuring Fabulan items. So uh, this is an amazing find. It's actually going to go on the shelf right now. It up here for now next to the headless they might be bricks i'll eventually find a place in the fabul or the uh, maxi figure <laughs> say i'm thinking fabulous i have in the maxi figure collection so he mentioned there th about the delays in shipping getting stuff from other people especially if they live in a different country um, it's been really really slow uh, i have stuff now i've mentioned this several times already but stuff from november that i'm waiting on both from bricklink and ebay in fact it's a lot of homemaker stuff and i'm thinking about doing a video showing well i might just do that right now i'm gonna, <laughs> I'm just gonna go ahead and show you because this stuff may never get here so i placed a an order on ebay that had some maxi figure sets homemaker style sets and this was going to help me complete the homemaker collection these sets weren't 100% complete. Uh, I don't even think they had the instructions, but I just needed some of the rarer parts from them. And then he also had some other things like uh, cutouts for magazines that had some Lego ads that I wanted. Or I just threw into the order just to get them. But yeah, the, this order, these were, it's November, late November, I think, that I placed uh, the order for these. And we're, we're almost to March. <laughs> I don't think they're ever coming. Uh, I thought it was around two hundred dollars total for the order, but I think it was more a little over a hundred something for the order. Uh, I do have tracking, and it does show that it's still in transit, so it's not completely lost. Uh, they want. They, I have another one from uh, Bricklink, which was more parts. I think. I think there were some, no. There were some sets. There was a train set that I needed for completing my train collection uh, that one i got a tracking and it also it, it might be on the same boat wouldn't it be interesting if those two orders even though one was placed from ebay on a different date one was placed from bricklink on a different date i think both were different countries what if they came the same day wouldn't that be weird uh, i hope they do come because yeah it's a lot of money uh, that's just floating around on the sea <laughs> out there uh, but uh, and also about COVID, um, I did close my store briefly. I don't know if it's open by the time you watch this or not, but uh, I had a scare. I couldn't taste anything. For, uh, so for the last three days, I think I'm starting to get my taste back. So I have been tested for COVID. So far, the tests have come back negative, uh, but it is a little unsettling uh, not being able to 
uh, to taste anything. And I, I've been feeling fatigue, but I always feel fatigue. I think I felt fatigue for the last 20 years. So that wasn't really a surprise. It's going to be hard for me to know if that's a symptom of c having c coronavirus is, is, is fatigue because I'm always fatigued because I don't sleep enough. <laughs> I'm laughing. Um, I, yeah, I had a little bit of congestion and I had no taste. But the no taste is the weirdest thing in the world. It's like I can feel the texture and I'm like, we were eating, it was chicken pot pie, and I'm like, what's up with this chicken pot pie? It just tastes so bland. I can't taste the carrots in it. And then we tried other things, like um, my wife uh, put, put um, is rosemary, which has a very strong odor. Couldn't smell it. <laughs> uh, I, couldn't t I couldn't taste the different sweet tarts, what they were. We put different flavored potato chips. I could kind of tell the barbecue, but not because of the flavor, but more, more the kick. Like things that have a kick still have the kick, but they have no flavor. Like jalapenos, they had a little bit of a kick, but they taste like, it's just like you're eating a pickle. It's no jalapeno. Um, what was the other thing that was weird? Um, like tequila? <laughs> I, I tried all kinds of different things and I'm laughing about it now and I still got other test results that I'm waiting I want to get uh, more but I feel fine I mean I'm, I'm I don't feel any different than I have before but but since I'm uncertain quarantining and that's why the store is closed the, uh, the Bricklink store is closed I didn't want to take a chance uh, I don't think anybody would get sick from it anyway my wife picks most of the orders anyway but yeah we don't want to take any chances and if anything changes I'll let you know but I just want to let you know too that I feel fine okay so I'm completely fine I just can't taste anything which is weird but that's the video again thank you Robin for the awesome pilot maxi figure that's just it, it really made my day and really good people over there in the uk check their fabuland army out and i'll see you in the next video